Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CSCI podcast. I'm here with my colleague Laura and Dr. William Campbell. Hello. He is a lecturer, course leader of audio music technology, and deputy head of school for the arts, humanities, and social sciences faculty. He uh, started off as an aircraft engineer. Is that correct? I did. Yes. And uh, moved on to live sound. Yep. And uh, then, yep. And then uh, recently graduated your PhD. I did. So you're now a doctor. Ten years in the making, that was. How does aircraft engineer to live sound happen? How does that segue happen? Uh, what happens is, is that you never lose your love for music. And um, so I was an aircraft engineer, but I was also a drummer at the time and have been in loads of bands. And I hate this microphone. It, my beard keeps sticking into it. <laughs> um, I was in loads of bands and um, ended up recording most of the bands that I was in. And um, then I left uh, working on airplanes and um, couldn't find a job except for cooking chicken. That's what I did for a living for a little while. And uh, so I had to find a new career path. And I thought that I really enjoyed the engineering aspect of recording bands that I was in and other bands that, uh, that I knew. So I decided to get an degree in audio music technology wonderful so um i would like to talk a little bit as well about um obviously you've done a lot of work on on film as well i thought like you need to touch on that because that's a, another big part of your career yeah. and um i'd like you to tell us a little bit about where that sort of where that when that started and like how you found your way into that well um I've always loved films, uh, um, going all the way back to uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, one of my first favorite films, getting the life scared out of me in 1976, I believe it was, for Jaws. Um, and uh, when I did my undergraduate degree in AMT, there wasn't film sound available. There wasn't any... Um, uh, aspect of AMT that covered that. So I did my final project. Uh, I, I found myself a filmmaker and told him what film I wanted to make, uh, which was the Telltale Heart, Edgar Allan Poe story. And um, I told him that I wanted to make the film um, without dialogue so that I could uh, learn how to use sound effects and music to influence the mood of a film. And that turned out very well. I got a first, first class honors in AMT and um, first class uh, honors or first class uh, degree or first class an A yeah. <laughs> on my uh, final project. And um, when I, we had uh in those days, we had what was called a poster day. And for my poster event, I set up a little tiny surround sound system so I could demo my film um, during the, when everybody else was showing posters, I was showing the full film. And I had uh, somebody come along from Baron Arts and liked what I was doing and asked me to get involved in... Uh, fixing the sound on a film that um, they made that uh, had really um, terrible sound on it. And, and that's pretty much a lot of the reason why I got hired on lots of films was to fix the sound. Well, so basically I'm getting a theme of, of love for your career. You love, you love music, you love films, and you pursued those. Right? Yes. And you can see that. And that's what's going to go on to now is as a lecturer, do you find yourself loving that? Do you find yourself pouring your heart into that, so to speak? Um, 
I absolutely, I had a rough period when I was teaching to begin at one point because I was doing my PhD and it, you know, people don't realize how consuming that so, is. Yeah. yeah. And, um, so, but when I finished that, I really do, did actually find that teaching is awesome. I really love it. Um, I really, uh, especially, you know, that I have so much experience in film and music now yeah. and I can give it to you guys and, and I feel like, like you guys appreciate it as well. You know? yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, yeah. uh, it's really, I find it really insightful actually, all the things that you and like telling us to be prepared for. There's, there's so many things that experience has given you that yeah. you can just pass to us without us having to essentially go through the process yeah. of years of work. And yeah. everyone doing AMT in general is also pursuing music because they love music. And Yeah, that's yeah. the best thing about AMT is most, I'd say, 90 to 95% of students here do it because they love it. Yeah. Not yeah. because they want to make loads of money, yeah. which is completely the wrong path to go down. The yeah. dark side. The dark, yeah. <laughs> Using more powers for evil. Yes, right. Um, so would you say that's um, the sort of most exciting aspect of, of lecturing and teaching for you is, is like finding other people's sort of passion for it and, and sort of getting on board of that? Or is there, there are other things that you are passionate about in terms of lecturing? Well, you know, I find that uh, a, a whole bunch of students that I've taught have moved on to really awesome careers. And so I, I get very proud when I see that, you know, I have, um, one student that, uh, um, is basically traveling the world, um, uh, with a list bands yeah. as a monitor engineer. Um, one that installs AV systems for massive companies like Google, and um, and he also he's, he goes to Dubai quite often. He goes to Thailand. He goes loads of places, yeah. and he could barely solder when he left here, and now he's you know yeah now he's uh, he's moved to the top of the of the food chain as far as AV goes, um, and you know it's not limited to that we have loads of students that go into acoustics that um that have really successful careers so you know for me um i'm doing what i love to do here in that i also get to make films in my own time kind of thing um but i also get to see my students become successful which i really really love awesome i was gonna um ask you what it's like sort of juggling like you just mentioned the Juggling having film and lecturing, you're also course leader and deputy head of school. I'm going to want to uh, sort of, you know, ask you. What yeah, that's hardcore. Like. It's yeah. hardcore. Um, it's uh, I, I basically get in for half past eight and don't stop until probably around six o'clock. So it's nonstop day. all day long. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what do you think the the benefits are of the um, of of having this sort of this new faculty and having um, this sort of like CSCI sort of group together and so you're in charge of collaborations there. Do you think there's sort of potential for... Yeah, well, that is still uh, very young right now. I'm, you know, I, I work quite a lot with um, trying to convince other um, courses to work together. Um, because all of our students will benefit from it. So, you know, it, it, none of us in film nor live sound um, work in silos. You know, we all work together, and this is what I'm hoping that we're going to um, make um, CSCI into a big collaboration of everybody working together rather than in traditionally in the past when when uh, AMT was part of the faculty of uh, science and technology we were separate yeah. and everybody was separate and so we're just trying to put that together now and get things we're moving in the right direction yeah. but yeah. at a snail's pace we live Thanks. in a multimedia world sorry Lauren. 
makes sense for popular music and AMT to work together because AMT needs someone to record. And popular music is full of musicians who want to record. Exactly. So the fact that there hasn't been collaboration between the two before is surprising. Really. Very yeah. surprising. But I mean, it has been, we've been working on this for years, really, but being part of this new faculty makes it much easier, yeah. breaks down the barriers. So have you guys been working with students yeah. from other I'm areas? I'm recording a, a drummer of the popular music on Friday. So. Awesome. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Um, find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in contact with a few uh, film and TV students to be helping them with sound. Um, awesome. Trying to get a team together to do that, and hopefully we can do that. And obviously projects like this, this is uh, sort of really speaks to how that's sort of coming together, and I can see it being something really beautiful in the future. So, yeah. Well, eventually we're going to have students from other areas in here helping mm. as well, yeah. part of this process. Mm. And hopefully this will be become such a big monster that uh, we'll have to expand it further. Yeah, multiple yeah. podcast studios. Yeah, that's what we're looking exactly. For. <laughs> well, podcasts are the are the now, aren't they? They're yeah. the, they're the new black, so to speak. Definitely. But I was going to ask, sort of in a personal, personal way, <laughs> reach out to you and ask, what do you, what do you think is in on your horizons in your future? Oh well, that's a fun question. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I have uh, I have basically two more years left as deputy head because this is a limited position. Um, I don't know if I'll do it again. It's been hard, really hard work. Um, uh, but if I do, that's for deciding then. But uh, my, you know, what my one of my big um, goals is is to have us become an integrated learning center, and this is why I'm working. Part of the reason why I'm working on getting this collaboration going. Um, and, you know, show off Anglia Ruskin as a place that uh, is more representative of the professional environment where yeah. we all work together making things, making films, you know, yeah. um, producing albums. I hope we get, uh, I'm looking at hopefully forming a record label here at some point. Um, uh, things like that, you yeah, know, getting, really cool. getting lots of big, big productions going of different things, you know? Because there's such a, there's almost such a like disembodied nature to so much work that people do yeah. at university and then they get into the industry and it's like, oh, it's like I've got to contribute to a full product now, but to have that even like, you know, it's in its sort of baby steps now, but even being part of stuff now yeah. and like taking that further Seems like definitely an incredible idea. Yeah, well, you guys are in on the ground floor, so yeah. this is a, uh, it's it, it's kind of up to you as well to build this this uh, vision. I suppose. So yeah. I suppose. It's a traditional university experience of I do my subject and I'm in control of my coursework and the things that I make doesn't translate well to the working world. Really no, it doesn't. For any no. any job, so more of more of this be useful for everyone yeah we need it we need each other we all need each other and we think more on lines of uh being a team of csci definitely i couldn't agree more well um on that happy note of union of all the multimedia and csci guys i will shake your hand very awkwardly over this <laughs> mic stand thank you for talking to us bill my uh, pleasure thanks laura as well thanks, laura and uh well i guess we'll see you next time Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.